To begin with, five persons are in police custody following allegations they are part of a ritual killing plot. They are said to have been arrested by the youth of Amanase near Suhum in the eastern region after a tip-off that they intended to abduct a boy. The chief of the area called on the police to come for the suspects and the youth, however, wanted to carry out instant justice, resulting in a clash. A police car was damaged with a car belonging to one of the suspects burned completely. Youth leader Richard Saforo, who spoke to Joy News, alleges that one of the suspects is the husband of the spiritualist, said to be at the center of the gruesome killing of a 10-year-old boy at Kaswa. There is more in the following news desk report. In videos of the incident put on social media, more than 50 men are seen heading towards a building. Another man is heard saying they are taking the people away, causing the youth to double up the chase. Youth leader Richard Saforo says the youth moved in after they felt the men suspected to have attempted to abduct a boy will be let go. He decided to take one of our brother's son to the spot. So he was giving a um, drink to the small boy by the small boy was insisting that he's not going to bring it so since people put him on the spot they were monitoring his actions so immediately they rushed on him and was asking him the reason why he was giving the guy those items so they asked him what is it and he said it's water but when they took it from him and they checked it wasn't water it was um appetition with mixed with some things you understand in another footage a car is ablaze richard explains what happened the priest, it belongs to one of one of uh, the uh, the priest wasn't around so it belonged to one of the priests that's a uh, wazinga that car was 247 roaming in the town 247 chief, the chief called them and they they obey instruction then came that they were like they wanted to do something so that they were escape then the chief called for the youth. Richard alleges one of the suspects is connected to the alleged ritual murder that took place at Kaswa that led to the death of a 10-year-old boy. He explains a suspect is married to the priestess at the center of that controversy. Her husband, the priestess' husband is also the priest. But before you go there, you go, you, you, you go and see the priest before the priestess before you see the husband, the priest. Let's speak to Maxwell Kudeko, who is on the phone lines. Now, we'll speak to Maxwell concerning the earlier story we brought to you about the five persons who are in police custody. Maxwell, what more do we know about the story? Well, these uh, gentlemen are suspected to be uh, syndicates who are involved in the uh, rituals, I mean, killing of people for, for rituals. Uh, last weekend, there was a big funeral in uh, Amanasi, near Sumum, in the eastern region. And the people realized that a couple of mad people um, had been roaming in the town. These are people that, mad people that are not noted to be part of them. So the people became anxious and started uh, monitoring these people. So um, yesterday, one of the mad persons uh, gave um, a drink to a five-year-old boy, and then some soldiers who had also uh, come to town for the funeral realized that the mad person was giving a substance, a local substance, to the young guy. So they questioned him, why is it that a madman you are giving um, a, a drink to this young boy? And then they, forced, they forcibly took the drink from him, and they realized that uh, the drink contained tramadol. So in effect, he was trying to uh, get the, the the young man drunk so that he is able to um, do whatever he wants to do with 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 the boy. So um, the soldiers accosted him, and in the course of interrogation, he had a, a phone call from a gentleman who uh, supposed to be uh, a priest. So the soldiers pretended that he uh, the, the the gentleman is. The owner of the phone is the rightful person the guy was talking to. So they demand, uh, immediately he, they answered the call. He question why the guy has delayed. Is he not bringing the blood, what, blah, blah, blah. So um, they insisted that the priest should come to Amanasi because there is mm. a problem there. So when he got to town, the youth also announced and mm. then they, 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 they attempted lynching him. So the chief 
had to go in and then get the suspect into his palace and called in the police to mm. come and settle the matter. The, the youth was uh, very anxious to lynch these people. So they, they called for reinforcement from Suhum and other areas, and then they came to um, uh, take the suspect out of the chief palace. The, the, the youth were so anxious, just like upset. So they put a stone at the chief palace and distracted some properties there, including the sliding windows and doors. The roof of the of the chief's house was also affected heavily. A police car was also distracted, including um, uh, the Suhum district police commander also had his fair share of the beating. Because of the pattern of stone, some of the stone hit him and blah, blah, blah. But uh, they, they managed to take these five suspects to the Suhum district police command as of last night. And police say that they are still investigating the matter. Now, the people are alleging that these two priests who are involved in this matter, one Wazenge and Tobi, Tobiju, are connected to the, the, the priestess at Kaswa, the recent uh, killing of the two uh, boys, the two young boys in Kaswa. They allege that they are connected to uh, the, the woman. So that is why they are very much angry, wanting to uh, be given the opportunity to uh, unleash uh, 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 instant justice. On this person, so the police are, are having the, the five persons there in their custody. Investigation is so long going. Mm. So this morning, right, uh, Maxwell. Thanks very much for those updates. We'll come back to you when there's more to report.